Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen with a sneak peek at the next concept ship, the Drake Corsair. Heave the gall of uncharted space and harness the spirit of exploration with the Drake Corsair, a worthy companion supporting you in battle, discovery and delivery wherever the winds of adventure may steer you. The romance, the danger, the mystery of charting a course into the unknown, it sings to you. The spirit of exploration is inescapable, it's who you are. You hear the song of far-off galaxies, of systems uncharted and frontiers untamed. You feel the magnetic pull of adventure and long to chase virgin horizons into the unfathomably silent depths of the unknown. This is the spirit of the Drake Corsair, the bold, indomitable will of humankind, dauntless in its relentless pursuit of fortune, expansion, and knowledge. You never know what you may discover out there, but with the Drake Corsair, you'll be prepared for it. The Corsair will be available in the Pledge Store until the 22nd of April 2019 from $195 War Bond. This is a sale that Concierge backers will have access to now and everyone else from Friday the 22nd of March with an option of buying with store credit too. We can see that the focus of the ship is exploration and expeditions. The Corsair is a three-winged asymmetrical monstrosity of a ship. Two of the wings are on its port side and are sort of like at angles. And there is a larger single horizontal wing on its starboard side. It looks like these wings will move for landing modes as well, according to the concept pictures. At least, the ship appears to have a ramp and be able to house an Urza rover, so you'll be able to land on planets for it for explorational purposes. The ship looks to be around constellation sized maybe, and focused largely on exploration, so akin to the constellation Aquila. There looks to be a large amount of weaponry and turrets on the ship too. Two side turrets, one rear turret, uh, at least three nose-mounted weapons, one of which is a, a turret here as well, and eight missiles on its starboard wing. I'm not sure which of these turrets, if any, are going to be manned turrets or if they're all going to be remote. There appears to be some wing-mounted weapons too, potentially another two to three guns. It's Drake. They like to plaster weapons all over. There's also a name reservation perk for Warbond purchases with this concept sale. As a special incentive, all Warbond Corsairs come with the ability to reserve a custom name for the ship, unique across the Corsair chassis, but although certain restrictions may apply. Probably no swear words, things like that. I'll link all the details down below. To name your ship, simply visit your hangar after purchase and view your Corsair for naming options. I am very excited for the Drake Corsair. It looks heavily armed and is Drake's response to the Constellation and Exploration in-game. It's priced a good bit cheaper than the Carrick and based on its facilities, it may be a viable alternative. If it has things like a medical bay, if it has... Uh, good scanners if it has a way of generating quantum fuel or being able to stay up for huge periods of time. It's not likely to have all of the um, sort of cool stuff that the Carrick has, like drones and things like that as well. It is Drake. It's no frills. It's cheap. It's got lots of guns. It's not going to have the same sort of items, armor and protection that some of the other ships that are focused on it, uh, like the Carrick, um, for exploration. But um, it might do exploration at a sort of budget level or a, um, a level for certain people that think it's perfect for them and it might turn out that it's sort of like damage that it can do with its weaponry is significantly higher than the Carrick because they sort of like plaster it on with Drake. Exploration gameplay will get a bit more info on it with this concept sale in the future too um, and we'll as soon as we have it with the full concept sale which we should see tomorrow and then again in the future with the FAQ that they'll be doing in the next few weeks. As the information comes out, we'll try and get it up. The ship does appear to have design cues from the Drake style board. Obviously, it's a Drake ship. But also, um, this is more focused on the Buccaneer, Cutlass and Caterpillar. And I do see some of the Carrick and Freelancer in here as well, at least to me. And I can, I can see that. The ship might come with an Ursa Rover. We've seen it. In, in its pictures. We've also seen the ship fighting a, what appears to be a space station in its concept art as well, which would be pretty cool, and that could sort of like herald some some interesting gameplay in the future. I, I know we sort of suspected that there would be pirate uh, uh, mission-based um, stations that we'd be attacking in the future and things like that as well, but this sort of like is uh, pointing more towards that. But please tell me what you think. 
Is this the sort of ship that you would consider grabbing? Uh, I'm likely to grab a couple of these for future giveaways too. And once we have more information on the ship, I'll get more info up. But any questions you've got, chuck them down below. Looking more at the concept art as well, actually, it does look like the wings fold upwards so that it can land more appropriately on planets and things. And I think this might be quite a good multi-role ship as well. So I think a lot of people are going to be getting these in game instead of constellations, instead of characters now. But yeah, as I said, tell me what you think in the comments below. Every month we have a ship giveaway. This month, by popular demand again, it's for an Anvil Carrack. This time sponsored by Forgotten Heralds, a lawful private military company with a history grounded in UEE military service. They are recruiting at the moment and are a good choice for both veteran and new players alike. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that character though is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my Star Citizen videos made during this month. Links to more info on Forgotten Heralds and full details of the giveaway down below. If you don't have a gaming PC yet or you are upgrading, instead consider Shadow Cloud Gaming. They allow you to leverage the powers of the internet to stream a high-spec Windows 10 environment to any other PC, Mac or device like a smartphone or tablet. It is working really well in Star Citizen's 3.4 branch and be sure to use the code board GAMER if you do decide to check it out to get a discount. Links below. This channel exists because of its community. If you wish to support the channel further, below there are links to Patreon, Subscribestar, and there's the YouTube channel memberships, literally the join button below this video. VIPs do get some exclusive stuff and early content as a thank you as well. If you have any feedback, suggestions, or just want to say hi, please drop a comment below or poke me on discord.gg forward slash boardgamer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the verse.